Just Ask, Then Receive, presented by Theo E. David, from the Audio Bookshelf. Welcome back to our Audio Bookshelf. We hope you enjoy the book, and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to get our latest content. Enjoy. Introduction. Imagine if the answers to your innermost desires, the solutions to your most pressing issues, and the opportunities you've been seeking were all within reach, just waiting for you to ask. Just Ask, Then Receive is a book about the transformative power of asking for exactly what you want to create the life you've always intended. Have you ever felt stuck, unable to move forward despite your best efforts? Perhaps you've been seeking clarity in your career, relationships, or personal growth, but can't seem to find the way. The secret might be simpler than you think, the art of asking. Not just any asking, but deep, intentional questioning that opens doors and creates pathways to your goals. From the moment we are born, we begin to ask questions. As children, our natural curiosity drives us to explore and learn about the world. But as we grow older, societal norms, fear of rejection, and self-doubt often stifle our ability to ask boldly and clearly. This book will reignite that innate curiosity and teach you how to harness it to bring about profound changes in your life. The process begins with recognizing the value of asking. Asking is more than just gathering information. It is an effective technique for manifesting your objectives and influencing your world. When you ask with intention, you initiate a series of circumstances that lead to the outcome you wish for. This book will guide you through the principles of effective asking, showing you how to frame your asking to get the best possible results. Next, we look into the mindset required for deep asking. Confidence and clarity are crucial. You must believe that you deserve to receive answers and that your questions are worthy of answers. This book will help you build the self-assurance needed to ask without fear, fostering a mindset that embraces possibilities and welcomes abundance. One of the core techniques you'll learn is how to ask powerful questions. These are questions that go beyond the surface, probing into the heart of what you truly want and need. This book provides practical exercises to help you craft these askings, ensuring that your asking is both deep and effective. You'll discover how to ask in a way that elicits meaningful responses and opens up new avenues for growth and success. This book is intended to be easy to understand and meaningful. Each part includes actionable strategies and exercises. Whether you are new to the concept of purposeful asking or want to enhance what you do, you will find helpful insights and practices that speak to you. As you go on this path, remember that the ability to ask is what gives you the power to transform your life. By mastering the skill of deep asking, you can open up a universe of possibilities and realize your highest goals. Welcome to Just Ask, Then Receive. Let's embark on this revolutionary journey together and discover the tremendous power of asking. Have you ever wondered how some people seem to effortlessly attract abundance and positivity? Ask and You Shall Receive takes you through the transformative process of deep asking. You'll start with the basics of curiosity, empathy, and patience, then learn to harness your intentions through visualization and gratitude. It's about aligning your actions with your desires, trusting the universe, and overcoming obstacles. This is more than just a guide. It's a journey into self-discovery and manifestation. Are you ready to change your life and attract what you truly want? Chapter 1. Defining the Principles of Deep Asking Unraveling the four core principles of deep asking can transform your questioning techniques, empowering you to reveal profound insights and foster more meaningful connections. Imagine the possibilities that open up when you're able to tap into the power of incisive questions. You're not just initiating, you're venturing on a journey of discovery and connection. The first principle is curiosity. You've got to genuinely want to know more, to dig deeper. When you're genuinely curious, you won't just be satisfied with surface answers. You'll probe, persist, and unearth truths that others might miss. Secondly, there's empathy. This is about connecting with the person you're questioning. It's about understanding their perspective, fears, and hopes. When you ask with empathy, you're not just seeking answers, you're seeking to understand. Third comes humility. Accepting that you don't know everything opens the door to learning. 
It's a humbling experience, but it's also a powerful one. Fourth is patience. Deep asking takes time. It's not about rushing to conclusions, but letting the answers unfold organically. Chapter 2. Aligning Your Mindset for Manifestation You are now in a position to align your mentality for manifestation, which is a crucial stage in the process of unlocking your potential and creating your reality. This is because you have embraced the essential principles of deep asking. This is about fine-tuning your thoughts and emotions to resonate with the universe's frequencies to be in harmony with the very essence of creation. Firstly, let's acknowledge that your mindset is a powerful tool. It's your personal filter for the world, shaping your perceptions, attitudes, and ultimately your actions. A positive, focused mindset is like a beacon, sending out signals that the universe can't help but respond to. But it's crucial to realize that this isn't about wishful thinking or empty optimism. It's about cultivating a deep, unshakable belief in your own potential and the limitless possibilities of the universe. To align your mindset, you'll need to start by identifying and challenging any negative thought patterns. You're not a victim of your thoughts, you're their creator. You have the power to transform your thinking, to replace fear with courage, doubt with certainty, and limitation with abundance. Practice gratitude daily to increase your vibrational frequency. Gratitude is a powerful emotion that aligns you with the flow of life and opens you up to receiving more. Lastly, visualize your desired outcome. Picture it in vivid detail, feel it, and believe in it. This is how you communicate your desires to the universe. In aligning your mindset for manifestation, you are setting a powerful intention for change. You are asserting your rightful place in the universe and inviting it to conspire in your favor. And remember, this isn't a one-off event, it's a continual process. So keep going, keep believing, and keep asking. Chapter 3. Harnessing the Power of Intention Now that your mindset is aligned for manifestation, let's harness the power of intention to amplify your journey towards realizing your potential. You see, intention isn't just about wanting something, it's about firmly deciding that you'll achieve it. It's the driving force that propels your desires from the sphere of thought into the world of reality. Think of your intentions as the foundation upon which your dreams are built. They're the commitments you make to yourself about what you're going to pursue and achieve. When you set an intention, you're basically saying, I'm not just hoping for this, I'm going to make it happen. So how do you harness this powerful force? It starts with getting clear about what you want. Don't just think in general terms like, I want to be successful. Instead, get specific about what success looks like to you. Is it financial freedom, a fulfilling career, or healthy relationships? Next, visualize your intention. Imagine it in vivid detail, as if it's already happened. Feel the emotions that come with reaching your goal. The more real it feels, the more motivated you'll be to pursue it. Lastly, stay focused. It's easy to get sidetracked by life's distractions, but remember, your intention is the compass that guides you towards your destination. Keep it at the forefront of your mind and heart, and you'll find yourself moving steadily towards making your dreams a reality. Chapter 4. Crafting Powerful Affirmations and Mantras Diving into the world of affirmations and mantras, you'll discover a potent tool to reinforce your intentions and accelerate your journey to manifestation. These powerful statements have the ability to reshape your mind, aligning your thoughts with your deepest desires. They're not just words, they're expressions of your inner truth and aspirations. Crafting an effective affirmation requires honesty and clarity. Start by identifying what you truly want. Don't be vague, be specific. Instead of saying, I want to be happy, say, I am living a life filled with joy and fulfillment. Notice the shift from wanting to being. That's the magic of affirmations. They help you step into the reality of your desires right now, not in some distant future. Your mantras, on the other hand, serve as your spiritual anchor. They remind you of your purpose, keeping you grounded when life storms hit. To create a mantra, connect with your core beliefs. It could be a phrase like I am capable and strong or a single word like peace. This should be something that resonates with you deeply. Remember, repetition is key. 
speak your affirmations and mantras aloud, write them down, and whisper them to yourself. Let them permeate your thoughts and shape your reality. Trust in their power and believe in their truth. You'll soon see the universe responding, reflecting the changes within you in your external circumstances. Stay patient, stay consistent, trust the process, and you'll find that asking deeply and affirmatively truly does lead to receiving. Chapter 5. Visualization Techniques for Manifestation By harnessing the power of visualization, you can paint vivid mental pictures that not only inspire, but also propel you towards your deepest desires. Visualization isn't fantasy or daydreaming. It's a deliberate, purposeful act of creating a detailed mental image of your desired outcome. It's an essential tool for manifesting what you want from the universe. Start by finding a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. To find your core, close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Now, imagine your goal in great detail. If you're envisioning a new job, see yourself in the office, feel the weight of the pen in your hand, and hear the click of the keyboard. Engage all your senses. Now, add emotions. Feel the joy, the pride, the satisfaction of achieving your goal. Your emotions are a powerful catalyst for manifestation, so don't hold back. Let yourself feel deeply. Finally, practice this visualization daily. Like any skill, visualization becomes more effective with practice. When you have a mental image that is more detailed and vivid, your subconscious mind will see it as being more convincing. Chapter 6. Cultivating Trust in the Universe In this journey of deep asking, cultivating trust in the universe is your most powerful ally, empowering you to let go of fear, embrace uncertainty, and truly believe in the manifestation of your deepest desires. Trust isn't something that comes naturally, especially in a world that often promotes doubt and skepticism. But placing your faith in the universe isn't about blindly accepting everything, it's about understanding that there's a greater force at work, one that's interconnected with your own energy and intentions. You might wonder, how can I trust in something I can't see or touch? It's a valid question, but remember, trust is a feeling, an inner knowing that the universe is listening and responding to your deepest desires. You've already begun this process through visualization. Now it's time to deepen that connection. Cultivating trust requires patience and practice. It's a gentle process of surrendering control and allowing the universe to guide you. It's not about sitting back and doing nothing. It's about taking aligned actions and knowing that the universe is working alongside you. So how do you start? Begin by noticing the synchronicities in your life, those moments where things seem to align perfectly. These are signs from the universe showing you that it's listening. Express gratitude for these moments, for gratitude nurtures trust. Trust in the universe and in your journey. It's a powerful act of faith that can turn your deepest desires into reality. Remember, the universe doesn't make mistakes, it's always guiding you towards your highest good. So trust and know that you're exactly where you need to be. Chapter 7. Setting Clear and Specific Goals Exploring the path of deep inquiry, establishing clear and specific goals is your next essential step, empowering you to channel your trust in the universe into tangible aspirations. You're not simply throwing wishes into the void, you're forging a path toward your desired destination. You need to know where you're going to get there, right? Let's clarify something, though. Setting goals isn't about setting restrictions for yourself. It's about giving your journey focus and direction. The universe responds to clear signals, and having specific goals sends out a strong message about what you want. It's like having a conversation with the universe. You're stating, this is what I seek. Guide me toward it. So how do you set clear and specific goals? First, be honest with yourself. What do you truly want? It's your life, your journey. Don't allow others' expectations to dictate your desires. Next, write your goals down. It might seem simple, but putting your aspirations down on paper makes them real, tangible. When setting your goals, be as specific as possible. If you desire a new job, what kind of job is it? What does it involve? The more detailed your goal, the easier it is for the universe to understand and guide you toward it. Chapter 8. Releasing Limiting Beliefs and Doubts 
While establishing clear goals is an important step, you also need to confront and let go of any limiting beliefs and doubts that could hinder your journey. It's vital to understand that these self-imposed limitations are often the biggest obstacle standing in your way. It's not the universe holding you back, it's your own doubts and fears. First, identify what these limiting beliefs are. Maybe you think you're not smart enough, not wealthy enough, or simply not deserving of what you're asking for. Once you've acknowledged these beliefs, take a moment to question their validity. Are they truly accurate? More often than not, you'll find they're not based on fact, but on past experiences or fear of the unknown. The subsequent stage is to replace these limiting beliefs with ones that are more powerful. This isn't about ignoring the doubts, but replacing them with beliefs that propel you forward. For instance, replace I'm not smart enough with I have the ability to learn whatever I need to succeed. Lastly, practice patience and persistence. Releasing limiting beliefs isn't a one-time event, it's a continuous process. Remain steadfast in your journey of letting go, even when it feels challenging. Remember, it's through overcoming these obstacles that you create room for the universe to step in and deliver what you're asking for. Stay committed to this process, and you'll find that the universe responds in kind. Let go of your limiting beliefs and doubts, and you'll be amazed at what you can receive. Chapter 9. Transmuting Negative Emotions into Positivity Often, you may find yourself grappling with negative emotions, but remember, you hold the power to transmute these feelings into positivity. It's not about denying or suppressing these emotions. Instead, it's about acknowledging them, understanding their roots, and then consciously exploring your perspective. Imagine your negative emotions as dark clouds. They may obscure your vision temporarily, but they can't erase the sun that's always behind them. Your job is to locate that sun within you, that inherent positivity and light, and let it shine through. Start by identifying your negative emotion. Is it fear, anger, or sadness? Once you've named it, explore it. What's causing this emotion? A situation, a person, a memory? You are able to start processing it once you have determined the underlying source of the problem. Talk about it, write about it, let it out. Then, it's time to flip the script. Instead of focusing on what's wrong, focus on what's right. Instead of dwelling on the hurt, dwell on the healing. Instead of feeding into the fear, feed into courage. You're not changing the situation, you're changing your reaction to it. This transmutation is a conscious choice, a decision to view your world through a lens of positivity. It's not always easy, it takes practice. But it's always possible, and the more you practice, the easier it becomes until positivity becomes your default state. Chapter 10, The Role of Gratitude in Manifestation You might be amazed to discover the profound impact gratitude can have on your ability to manifest your desires. It's not just about saying thank you for the things you have, it's about embracing an attitude of gratitude. This means acknowledging, appreciating, and celebrating all the gifts, both big and small, that life offers you. Gratitude sets a positive vibration in motion. When you're grateful, you're in a state of openness and reception. You're more likely to notice opportunities, generate creative solutions, and attract positive outcomes. It's as if the universe responds favorably to your thankfulness, opening more doors and paving pathways for your desires to materialize. But how do you cultivate this powerful feeling of gratitude? Start by making it a daily practice. Take note of the good in your life, no matter how small. It could be the warmth of the sun, a good meal, or a kind word from a friend. As you acknowledge these moments, feel the gratitude in your heart. Let it fill you up, radiate outwards, and shift your energy towards positivity. Chapter 11, Incorporating Meditation into Your Practice Diving deeper into your journey of manifestation, incorporating meditation into your practice can become a powerful tool for cultivating an even greater sense of gratitude and clarity. You may wonder how stillness and silence can aid in your quest for manifestation. Meditation has the potential to have a significant impact on both your mental and emotional condition, which is where the answer resides. You are able to establish a sacred space within yourself via the practice of meditation. 
This space is a calm area where you can connect with your most profound goals and aspirations. It's a sanctuary where you can strip away the noise of the external world and tune into the innermost depths of your being. By meditating regularly, you are not only strengthening your mental muscles, but also fostering a deeper connection with the universe. Here's where it gets exciting. When you meditate, you're fundamentally aligning yourself with the universe. You are bringing your frequencies into alignment with those of the universe, which will make it simpler for you to bring your wishes into physical form. It's like tuning into a radio frequency. The more you're aligned, the clearer the signal. Begin with something small. Set out a few minutes per day to sit quietly, breathe deeply, and concentrate on your intentions. Visualize your desires as if they're already reality. Feel the emotions they bring. This practice won't only bring you a sense of calmness and clarity, but also empower you to manifest your desires more effectively. Chapter 12. Developing Laser-Focused Concentration Harnessing the power of laser-focused concentration is your next step toward deeper manifestation mastery. This aspect of personal development is essential yet often overlooked. However, in your journey to harness the universe's generosity, it's a game-changer. It's not just about thinking or visualizing, it's about maintaining an unwavering concentration on what you truly desire. Now you might be wondering, how do I develop such a profound level of concentration? It's simpler than you'd imagine. The first step is to schedule a period of time each day for devoted focus and solitude. This can be as little as 10 minutes, but it's your sacred time, so use it wisely. Next, choose one goal or desire to focus on. It's tempting to juggle multiple desires, but remember, we're aiming for laser focus here, one goal, one desire at a time. Concentrate all your mental energy on this single objective. Visualize it, feel it, and immerse in it with all your senses. Staying focused can be challenging, distractions will invariably creep in. But here's the trick, don't fight them. Once you're aware of them, turn your attention back to the goal you set for yourself. Over time, it gets easier, just like any other skill. Finally, be patient with yourself. Developing laser-focused concentration is a journey, not a race. Celebrate your progress, however small. Remember, your power to concentrate is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. With persistent practice and unwavering dedication, you'll find yourself developing a laser-focused concentration capable of bringing your deepest desires to life. Keep going, you're doing great. Chapter 13, Aligning Your Actions with Intentions Once you've polished your capacity to concentrate with steadfast focus, it's necessary to ensure that your actions align with your objectives, resulting in a powerful synergy that propels you toward your greatest aspirations. It's more than just hoping or wanting, it's about making your daily activities reflect your deepest goals. Remember, the universe responds to actions, not just thoughts. Start by taking a close look at your daily actions. Are they reflecting your true intentions? If your intention is to write a novel, but you're not setting aside time each day to write, then your actions aren't in alignment with your intention. It's okay if they're not. You're human, and life is a constant journey of alignment and realignment. Next, take steps to align your actions with your intentions. This might mean setting a specific time each day to write, or it might mean turning down social events that interfere with your writing schedule. It's not always easy, and it requires discipline and commitment, but the rewards are worth it. When your actions are in alignment with your intentions, you'll feel a sense of peace and purpose that's incredibly empowering. Chapter 14, Overcoming Obstacles and Setbacks So what happens when you encounter obstacles and setbacks on your journey to aligning your actions and intentions? It's normal to feel discouraged, even to the point of questioning whether you're on the right path. But remember, these challenges aren't meant to deter you, they're there to test your resolve and strengthen your commitment. Setbacks aren't failures, they're lessons. Every challenge you experience provides an opportunity to learn, grow, and increase your awareness of yourself and the universe. They're part of your journey, signposts showing you areas where you need to develop and adapt. Don't see them as roadblocks, but as stepping stones to a more attuned and enlightened you. 
it's important to approach these obstacles with the right mindset. If you view them as negative, they'll become larger and more intimidating. Instead, view them as positive challenges. They're there to help you hone your skills, build your resilience, and refine your approach. When you encounter these obstacles, slow down, breathe, and reflect on what they're teaching you. What can you learn from this situation? How can it help you grow? Then take action, make a plan to overcome the obstacle, to turn the setback into a comeback. In the end, it's not about the number of obstacles you face, but how you choose to respond to them. In the grand scheme of your journey, every setback is a setup for a greater comeback. Keep asking, keep seeking, and the universe will reward your perseverance. Chapter 15, Maintaining Persistence and Perseverance Having resilience in the face of challenges is a reflection of your strength, but the journey doesn't end there. It's equally important to foster persistence and perseverance. You've got the power to go beyond the ordinary, and it's your determination that'll push you to keep moving forward no matter what. Your journey toward deeper understanding and receiving from the universe is like climbing a mountain. The climb may be tough, and at times you'll feel like giving up, but remember, the view at the top is worth it. So keep climbing. Persistence is about not giving up even when the going gets tough. It's about sticking to your path even when it's hard and you can't see the end. It's about believing in your journey and knowing that every step, no matter how small, is bringing you closer to your destination. Perseverance, on the other hand, is about being strong in the face of adversity. It's about facing your fears and overcoming them, not because you're fearless, but because your dreams and aspirations matter more to you than your fears. And remember, the universe responds to persistent effort. It's like knocking on a door. If you knock long enough and loud enough, you'll wake up the person inside. So don't be afraid to keep knocking, to keep asking, and to keep believing, because ultimately, your persistence and perseverance will lead to you receiving from the universe. Chapter 16, Embracing the Art of Detachment While you persistently work towards your dreams, mastering the art of detachment is essential, letting go of the outcomes and trusting the universe's timing. It's a delicate dance, a balance that seems paradoxical but is necessary if you're to experience the full power of deep asking. Understand this, detachment doesn't mean giving up or not caring about the results. Rather, it's about cultivating an attitude of openness, accepting whatever comes your way, and trusting that it's what's best for you. You've asked, you've put in the work, now it's time to let the universe do its part. Think of it as planting a seed. You water it, and sure it gets sunlight, but you can't force it to grow. You trust in the process, knowing that in time it will blossom. That's what detachment is, it's faith in the process, it's patience, it's trust. Embrace the art of detachment not as a tool to manipulate the universe to get what you want, but as a means of aligning yourself with the natural rhythm of life. It's a gentle surrender, a release of control. It's acknowledging that while you play an active role in manifesting your dreams, there are bigger forces at work. Chapter 17, Recognizing and Responding to Signs after mastering the art of detachment, your journey with deep asking will naturally lead you to the next step, learning to recognize and respond to the signs that the universe sends your way. This phase involves a heightened sense of awareness and a deepened intuition. It's about developing an open mind to perceive the subtle hints that the universe is constantly delivering. Understanding these signs is like learning a new language. They won't always be glaringly obvious, sometimes they're as subtle as a gentle nudge, a recurring thought, or a feeling that just won't go away. They could be in the form of dreams, synchronicities, or even a random conversation with a stranger. The key is to be open, observant, and receptive. Chapter 18, Cultivating Patience and Trust in Timing In the journey of deep asking, it's not always about swift progress, but learning to embrace the art of patience and trusting in the universe's timing. You see, the universe operates on its own schedule, not yours. It might sound inconvenient, but once you understand this, it can become a profound source of peace. It's natural to want immediate results when you make your requests to the universe. However, remember that everything worthwhile takes time. The key here is to cultivate patience. You need to trust that the universe is working its magic, even if you can't see it yet. 
It's like planting a seed. You can't rush it to grow. You simply water it, provide it with sunlight, and wait. Trust is another significant aspect. It requires you to believe that the universe will deliver when the time is right. This means letting go of control, something which can be tough, yet it's an important step in deep asking. Now, how can you cultivate these traits? Start by practicing mindfulness. By being present, you can let go of anxieties about the future and focus on the now. Next, try incorporating affirmations into your daily routine. These positive statements can help reinforce your trust in the universe's timing. Chapter 19, Utilizing Visualization Boards and Collages Diving deeper into the practice of deep asking, you will discover the power of visualization boards and collages as a tool to manifest your desires. This isn't some new age mumbo jumbo, it's a tried and tested method that's been used by successful people throughout history. Visualization boards, also known as dream boards, are physical representations of your goals and aspirations. How do you create one? It's simple. Grab a board or large piece of paper and start pasting images, words, and symbols that represent the things you want to attract into your life. This could be anything from a dream home, a fulfilling career, and harmonious relationships to inner peace. The key is to focus on the feeling these things give you, not just the things themselves. As you create your board, you're not just pasting pictures, you're embedding your desires into your subconscious mind. This is where the magic happens. The subconscious mind can't differentiate between what's real and what's imagined. It simply responds to the images and emotions you feed it. So invest time in your visualization board. Engage with it daily. By doing this, you're clearly communicating your desires to the universe. Your feelings and thoughts, they're all energy, and energy attracts like energy. Don't underestimate the power of visualization boards and collages. They're more than just craft projects. You can bring your deepest wishes into manifestation with the assistance of these potent instruments. Chapter 20, The Importance of Self-Care and Wellness While you're harnessing the power of your mind with visualization boards, don't forget that your physical well-being plays a significant role in realizing your deepest desires. It's crucial to remember that asking the universe for what you want isn't just about mental and emotional readiness, it's also about physical wellness. Think of your body as a vessel tasked with carrying you towards your goals. If you do not take care of it, it will be unable to function properly. Self-care consists of a number of key components that should not be ignored, including regular exercise, a balanced diet, and optimal sleep levels. When you're physically healthy, you're better equipped to focus, persist, and seize opportunities that come your way. Moreover, wellness isn't just about the physical, it's also about emotional and mental health. Practices involving mindfulness, such as yoga or meditation, can help you stay calm, lower tension, and improve your capacity to ask thought-provoking questions. Remember, the universe responds not just to your words, but also to the energy you radiate. So take the time to nurture your mind, body, and spirit. In essence, self-care and wellness serve as your foundation in this journey of deep asking. They're prerequisites that enable you to connect with the universe meaningfully and effectively. Chapter 21, Surrounding Yourself with Supportive Energies Having a supportive network around you can greatly bolster your journey toward deep asking. It's not just about the people who physically surround you, like friends and family, but also the energies that fill your environment. You're not alone on this journey, and you don't have to be. There's a vast network of support available to you, and it's essential to tap into it. Think about the people who lift you up, inspire you, and encourage your growth. They're part of your supportive network. But don't stop there. Expand your network to include books, podcasts, workshops, and even social media platforms that feed your soul and inspire you to ask more deeply. Remember, you're curating a supportive network, so be intentional about what and who you include. Beyond this, consider the energy in your physical environment. Do you feel calm and inspired in your home or office? If not, it's time to make some changes. You can't control everything, but you can control how your personal space feels. 
Use colors, textures, and objects that uplift you and encourage a sense of peace and openness. Chapter 22 Embracing the Cyclical Nature of Manifestation Ever considered how the process of manifestation isn't just a straight line but a cycle? It's a journey that ebbs and flows, just like the tide of the ocean. You see, the art of deep asking and receiving from the universe is deeply cyclical in nature. It's not a one-and-done deal, but rather a continuous process of growth, exploration, and renewal. Much like the seasons, your manifestations have their own unique rhythm. They bloom in spring, ripen in summer, harvest in autumn, and rest in winter. This isn't to say you'll always be stuck in a perpetual cycle of waiting. Instead, think of it as a gentle reminder that everything in life, including your dreams and desires, has its own perfect timing. The key is to embrace the cyclical nature of manifestation. It's about understanding that there will be periods of intense growth followed by times of seeming stagnation. Don't be disheartened when the universe seems quiet. Remember, even during winter, the seeds of spring are being sown beneath the surface. So be patient with yourself and the process. Trust the rhythm of your life and know that everything is happening exactly as it should. You're doing great, even if it doesn't always feel like it. Keep asking, keep believing, and keep trusting in the magic of the universe. Your dreams and desires are on their way to you in their own perfect time and order. In the grand scheme of things, the cyclical nature of manifestation is a confirmation of the universe's wisdom and your ability to co-create with it. Embrace it, for it's all part of this beautiful journey called life. Chapter 23, Integrating Deep Asking into Daily Life You've grasped the concept of deep asking, now it's time to weave it into your everyday life. Let's explore practical techniques to make this powerful tool a daily practice, overcome any barriers you might face, and start manifesting your desires. Adopting the practice of deep inquiry can significantly improve your daily life, increasing self-awareness and cultivating a deep connection with your inner self. This practice isn't about making frivolous requests, it's about tapping into your deepest desires, fears, and hopes. It's about having the courage to ask for what you truly want and need. You may wonder, what exactly is deep asking? It's a form of introspection, a dialogue with your innermost self. It's about asking questions that penetrate beyond the surface, questions that provoke thought, reflection, and self-discovery. It's about not being afraid to confront your truths, however uncomfortable they may be. This process is transformative. When you start asking these deep questions, you pave the way for profound personal growth. You gain clarity on your goals, values, and purpose. You cultivate self-compassion, acceptance, and courage. You learn to listen to your intuition, trust yourself, and take ownership of your life. Now that you understand the transformative power of deep asking, let's explore some practical techniques to incorporate this practice into your everyday life. The first step is to make it a daily ritual. In the same way that you should make it a habit to wash your teeth or make your bed, you should make it a permanent part of your routine to ask profound questions. Start your day with a deep asking session, focusing on your aspirations and desires. This will set a positive tone for your day and align you with your goals. Another technique is to use a journal to record your deep asking sessions. This offers a concrete record of your trip in addition to aiding with progress tracking. Write down your questions, feelings, and any insights or revelations you get. You'll be amazed at how this simple act can deepen your understanding and connection with the universe. Lastly, practice mindfulness. Being present in the moment enhances the power of deep asking. It allows you to fully engage with your questions and listen for the answers. Remember, deep asking isn't just about asking, it's about listening, understanding, and receiving. Sometimes, even with the best intentions, it's challenging to fully integrate deep asking into your daily life due to certain barriers. You may feel vulnerable, hesitant, or even unworthy. Don't worry, you're not alone in this. These are common hurdles many people face when starting to practice deep asking. The key to overcoming these barriers is to recognize and acknowledge them. It's okay to feel uncomfortable. It's a sign of growth, of stepping outside your comfort zone. Use this discomfort as motivation to push through. 
trust in the process, and, more importantly, in yourself. You're stronger than you think. Remember, deep asking is a skill that needs practice, so be patient with yourself. Start small with questions that aren't too emotionally charged. As you build confidence, gradually ask deeper, more personal questions. Incorporating deep asking into your daily life is akin to developing a new habit. It takes time, but once established, it becomes a natural part of your routine. Keep going, you're on the right path. You're making progress. And remember, the universe is always listening, always ready to respond to your deep asks. As you continue this journey, integrating deep asking into your daily life can serve as a powerful tool to manifest your desired outcomes. There's no magical formula here, it's about consistency and faith. You might not see results immediately, but don't lose hope. The universe hears you and is working on your request. To effectively manifest, start your day with deep asking. When you wake up, take a moment to express your desires earnestly. Be clear and concise. Remember, it's not just about asking, but asking deeply. This means tapping into your emotions and desires and asking from that space of authenticity and vulnerability. Throughout the day, visualize your desired outcome as though it's already happened. Feel the joy, the satisfaction, and the peace that comes with it. This not only reinforces your deep asking, but also aligns your energy with what you want. Lastly, end your day with gratitude. Thank the universe for its generosity and trust that your request is being processed. This isn't a one-time event, it's a process, a lifestyle. With persistence and belief, you'll see your desires manifest. You have the power, harness it. Chapter 24, Celebrating Milestones and Manifestation Successes As you journey deeper into the practice of deep asking, it's essential to celebrate your progress along the way. Every manifestation success, no matter how small, is a milestone worth acknowledging and celebrating. This continuous recognition not only motivates you, but also strengthens your bond with the universe, fostering ongoing communication and growth. In your journey of deep asking, recognizing and celebrating manifestation milestones can serve as powerful motivators, reminding you of your progress and fueling your determination. These milestones might appear as little synchronicities or coincidences that align with your desires, or they could be significant shifts in your circumstances. They're signs that the universe is responding to your requests, and they're worth acknowledging. Think of these milestones as markers on a map, indicating you're on the right path. Each one is a step closer to your goal, tangible proof of your progress. It's essential to notice these markers, to pause and appreciate them. They're not just evidence of movement, they're affirmations of your power to manifest. However, it's easy to overlook these milestones when you're focused on the end goal. It's like driving on a long journey and not noticing the scenery along the way. But remember, each milestone is a victory in itself. Taking the time to recognize and celebrate them not only strengthens your belief in the process of manifestation, but also boosts your confidence in your ability to create your reality. Celebrate each goal you achieve with joy and gratitude, acknowledging it as proof of your power to manifest and a milestone on your journey of deep asking. Every time you celebrate, you're not just recognizing your success, but also reinforcing your belief in your power to create your own reality. It's like giving a pat on your own back, saying, well done, me. I did it, and I can do it again. Remember, celebrations need not be extravagant. It could be as simple as taking a moment to feel grateful, writing about your achievement in a journal, or sharing your joy with a loved one. The key is to honor your achievement in a way that feels meaningful to you. Celebrating your achieved goals also serves another essential function. It helps you maintain a positive vibration and keeps you aligned with the frequency of abundance. The more you celebrate, the more you'll align with joy, gratitude, and success. And the more aligned you are, the smoother your journey of deep asking becomes. You're now beginning an exciting journey of continuous communication with the universe, marking each milestone and manifestation success along the way. This isn't a one-time event, it's a lifelong journey. Each achievement, big or small, is a confirmation of your growing connection with the universe. 
celebrating these milestones is essential. It's not about arrogance, but gratitude. When you achieve a goal, take a moment to feel the joy and accomplishment. This sends a tremendous message to the cosmos, which strengthens the connection between you and the universe. It's your way of saying, I see and appreciate the role you're playing in my life. But remember, you're not just celebrating successes, but the journey. Even in setbacks, there's something to appreciate, a lesson learned, a new perspective gained. These are just as worthy of celebration. Manifestation isn't a destination, it's a journey. The universe isn't a vending machine, dispensing your desires at the push of a button. It's a partner, a mentor, guiding you toward your goals. You might think that deep asking is too abstract or mystical, but remember, it's not about magic tricks. It's about aligning with your true desires and communicating them with the universe. You've got this. Start small, be patient, and watch as the universe responds to your deep asking. It's a journey of self-discovery and trust. So embrace the process, celebrate each victory, and never underestimate the transformative power of asking. Thanks for listening, and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and also click the small bell icon to receive a notification every time a new free audiobook has arrived. Thanks again.